So the next step I want to show you is what we call stick priority mixing. So we'll get out of there and we'll go to program mix 6. Uh, I mean, yeah, 6, 7, and 8 will do this. I choose normally 7 and 8 just uh, because it, I like to put them at the end of the list. But uh, go in here, we'll activate it. And here we got a selection. It's a normal mix or a curve mix. So we're going to use curve mix. And this menu says hold all servos. Doesn't matter at this point because we're not operating an airplane, but um, selecting yes holds the servos, and selecting no allows the airplane to continue wiggling as you move sticks. At this point, it doesn't matter, we'll choose no. So, program mix seven is what I would do. Uh, I would first, I always work left to right. So, let's do the rudder uh, stick priority mix. So, We'll choose rudder, mix to our first gyro, which is GYR7. And uh, we'll go in here, and then you can see, as I move the rudder stick, this bar moves. So, right here, this allows us to add a point. As you can see, I'm moving it out. It went away from erase. I could, uh, I could erase that middle point. Don't want to do that. Now we got none, and a little bit more farther out, farther out. It says in 63, that's generally the first spot you can store a new point. We'll get it back onto 63 and hit store. You can see it produced another point two out here. That's good. So let's go to the other side of neutral. Let's see, about 37 right there. Store. All right, so now we've got basically five points. We got a middle, an outer, and an outer, and then the, the end extremes. So what this does is if we were to move our stick right now, the rudder position is not modifying the rudder gain at all. It's zero. So what we want to have happen is as we move the stick out, it takes gain away. So what I do so I bring the outer points down. Because we're not using a lot of gain, you can just go to 50. So bring this point down. And then bring point 3 down to 50. Bring that other outer point down. Alright, so what this does is as we move the stick out, as you see it goes off center, our gyro gain is decreasing, 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 and then it flatlines at some arbitrary point, negative 50. Let's go see what that looks like on the servo monitor. Alright, so GYR7, as you can see I'm moving the rudder stick, and it's taking gyro gain away. See how the stick keeps moving, but the gain stops. Now because we went down to negative 50, we still have a little bit of gain when we're in this full flap flight mode. So as we go to half flap, you can see it goes to zero and beyond. It actually goes negative uh, zero gain, which is okay because the gyro uh, doesn't know anything less than zero. So that means right here at about I don't know what you call that, uh, one eighth rudder stick, the gyro gain is completely gone. So now the airplane is uh, not being stabilized in the yaw uh, uh, direction. So that's working fine there. And then flaps up. You can see we've got very little gain and it immediately goes away. So as soon as I breathe on the rudder, there's no gyro correction. And it goes very far negative because of that negative. 50 in the stick priority mixing. So this is the simple way to do it. Let's go back to program mix 7. And uh, if I wanted to add another curve, I could go in here and select, see right now we're on position 0. I could switch to position 1, build another graph, and then select a switch 
select and I could maybe say in landing configuration or when gear is up uh, do some other different looking curve to change the uh, feel of that uh, stick priority mix. I don't play around with that too much. Um, it's just not necessary at this point. We're getting our triple rate gyro gains using the normal gyro sense menu and we're getting our stick priority from this one mix. Uh, you can turn Expo on. You can see it, it changed, made it a little smoother. So there's different variations we can do to tailor the airplane's uh, performance. You can lower this part down and that would make the... Uh, I've got to adjust the camera here. That Lowering this, this the outer extremes down would make the uh, the gyro gain go away quicker. You could also move these points out so that you could move the stick farther before the gain goes away. Uh, it just comes down to pilot's choice, your taste. This is what I do. I actually leave the expo off. So I fly with the curve shaped much like that. Good place to start. And uh, so like I said, I'll explain it again. The airplane is very stable in the yaw axis when stick is centered. Uh, as we increase the gain by selecting a slower flight mode, the stabilization goes up. So in the full flap flight mode, the airplane is going to be the most stable in the yaw axis. So hope that helps set that part up. Let's move on. We'll do program mix 8, and we're going to do the same thing. Yeah, we're going to select a curve mix. We're not going to hold servos. We're going to select the aileron. Mix to gyro 8. So now our aileron stick moves the graph. So let's go down here. I'm going to select some points. None. Store. It's a little tedious. Store. There we go. Again, we're going to set this to a negative value. Let's, let's choose 40 just for an example. And you could even do something as crazy as this. You could set something up where it goes negative 20. So it's down to negative 40. As long as you make this symmetrical, the uh, airplane will behave the same in both directions. So now we've got this different shape graph. Uh, let's turn Expo on. See how it smoothed it out? So let's go into Servo Monitor and see what that looks like. We'll go to Full Flap so you can get the most gain in there. And I'm moving the stick. Uh, kind of moving it at a, a constant rate but you can see the bug, how it slowed down. That's because of how we shape the curves. So this might be something interesting to try. Uh, like I said, it all comes down to whatever feel you're looking for. Again, normally I fly on Expo Off. And we'll set this to... there. That'd be a good place to start and let's go back and see what this looks like. So the aileron bug, it never quite has all the gyro go away in the full flap uh, condition. Half flap, gyro goes away so you got a destabilized airplane. You know, it's a normal airplane once you're initializing a roll for a turn. Again, in high-speed mode, as soon as I'm off center, the gyro is gone, and uh, the airplane will roll just like it normally would, so the gyro is not fighting it. So, to sum this up, what we've done is we have gone into the device select, and we've activated the gyro program 
for aux two and three. That's where your rudder gain, aileron gain, get plugged into the receiver. And then we establish the initial gain settings in the gyrosense menu. Uh, we activated the flap switch to change the position. You could always use aux 2 or any other switch that you chose if you didn't want to have your gains tied to your flaps. I tie it to my flaps just so it's one, one switch does it all. Uh, we are, since we're using a 370A gyro, that's what this tutorial is all about. The uh, gyro type is normal and we're using uh, pretty low values to get started. So on the rudder I like a 10, 20, 30 for the first flight and then on aileron I like a 8, 15, 25. So after that I did the curve mix in program mix 7 and it looks about like this where we did rudder to gyro 7 which would be your aux 2 uh, we're only using one uh, curve, so it's always going to be in position zero. And we established a pretty narrow cone. So again, you can change the, the, um, the length of the legs of the cone. You can change how wide the cone is. You can add expo. And that affects how the airplane uh, will react, how the gyro will come out. And the airplane will become uh, destabilized in the yaw axis and roll axis. The roll axis is on here. So, and there's the roll axis. You can see why it took a little while to come up with this uh, video. It's not exactly an easy way to do this on the 12X. Uh, fortunately, uh, the guys have made the 18, uh, the DX18 a little easier. But uh, this is what works for me. Uh, I'm sure there's other methods out there this is, uh, makes it very intuitive to look at the curve and understand what the stick priority is doing. And it also makes it very intuitive to see what your maximum gains are. So uh, if everyone did it this way, we could compare and say, yeah, I run on a, on a F-86, I run 10, 20, 30, uh, blah, 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 you know. But again, there's many ways to do it. Uh, this is what works for me. So that's the basics of it. If there's any questions, let me know. Um, 